Do you know what really grinds my rear guards? Generation Break 8. I'll start off by giving my theory of what Bushiro's roadmap for Vanguard is, which is to Wake up, get up, get up there. I'm literally dying to play this game right now. The direction I believe Vanguard is going uh, right now is that uh, they want players to adopt a less rush-based style of play uh, by getting them to commit to uh, certain cards that have awesome benefits when you reach late in the game. Similar to like uh, quest systems that you might see in Hearthstone or Heroes of the Storm that they have implemented, um, GB8 is there to actually reward players for, for reaching that far late into the game by giving them like cards like this, or cards like this, or this, or this. But what grinds my rear guards isn't skills like that. It's the fact that the probability of players adopting uh, GB8 is at an all time low. The way I see it, players will actually be more determined not to let the game reach to that stage so that they don't see skills like that. So they will continue playing their rush based style. In Vanguard, based on all the, the releases that, uh, that has come out thus far, I've actually came up with, uh, with a philosophy, a very very powerful philosophy from it. Evolve or die. How I came up with that philosophy is because of the fact that the newer boosters always seem to be stronger than the uh, previous boost. So whenever a new release comes out, that box is actually much more stronger than whatever was released in the previous box. Evolve or die. Not only that, but boosts for certain builds or subclans like 7Cs are all getting uh, drastically changed uh, skill requirements like uh, they need a great tree or higher vanguard this time round so that it no longer supports that style of play. Evolve or you get them points now. With GBA becoming a thing now, I honestly find it hard to believe that players will gravitate towards uh, these new cards and you know, the awesome abilities that they have. In fact, I predict the opposite to be true. Nobody will invest in GB8 or Fighters Collection for these following reasons. 1. The stuff in Fighters Collection ranges from light luster to Oh, I think I'll play this because I don't have an alternative. Looking at you, Kagero. 2. The games will never extend to that long for players to even use them. 3. It does not work into their rush-based style of strategy, so why bother in competitive games for that matter? The data is here on Crossbone Vanguards. You can go back to our videos and then you can see how fast or slow we get to GB8. A lot of the games we don't even reach GB8 and the most recent one that we did which is Ghosty in the Shelly, that is when I actually hit GB12. And that is like one game out of like so many others that we have done here. And that's from a casual player's standpoint. Now imagine the competitive scene. If you ask me, I really really can't imagine how the game can actually last until GB8 for that matter. If the goal is to extend the game, then GB8 is actually not enough at this point of time. For all I know, they may have some extra things that is coming out uh, behind the curtain that they haven't revealed yet. We'll probably find out closer to when it hits Fighters Collection because Fighters Collection usually comes up with like um, ridiculous new rules or boosts for everything, you know, all that kind of jazz. But until then, the problem of um, players adopting GB8 and playing the long game right uh, will not be solved just by releasing GB8 cards. Worse still, everything that I have said in this video would have been moot if uh, the company itself does not perceive this to be a problem in the first place. If there is a way to solve the problem of players adopting less rush based style of play, then I dare say that you probably have to look at the core rules of your game. But I won't go further into that, I'll just leave it where it is. But what do I know? I'm just a filthy casual who enjoys the great moments in Vanguard. I'm not going out there to dominate people in tournaments to prove that I'm the best in the world. When really best in the world means nothing. In so let me know what you think about GBA in the comments below. Uh, maybe we can start a discussion over there and see maybe we can even solve this problem of players adopting a less rush based style of play and see if we can find something that will actually make competitive Vanguard fun again. <sighs> At least one problem can be solved right now.